Today I would like to talk about MongoDB and indexing the basics uh, and uh, let's see how you can get started with that. Uh, so I just have a sample collection and uh, most of the documents in the collection just have a value. So if I just run a find you can see that and uh, it's got some documents. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, to see how your queries are uh, working in terms of how efficient they are. You can run uh, something like this db dot name of the collection. You can say find since I uh, most of the documents just have a value. I'm searching for value and uh, I can tag along something called explain so you can see how well your queries work and I'm specifying a, a string called all plans execution. This is basically the most verbose setting you can have for running a query. So let's just run this query. If you run this query, it says the winning plan is doing a collection scan, which basically means it's, the, it's scanning the whole collection to find out uh, the value 87. And uh, the result number of document return is two, which is good. But you can see that the total documents examined is 100. So it's basically scanning everything. And so suppose uh, you wanted to optimize this query, what you could do. Uh, the easiest thing you can do is create uh, what is called an index and uh, I just have uh, the setting here and I'm going to just type it in to expedite this and uh, let's say if I just type in this it basically is saying uh, creating an index on the field value and uh, I want to do it in the background so this is an option uh, so now it's telling me the I only had one index before and uh, <coughs> now I have two indexes after. So it's created an index and the value and if you want to just check on uh, uh, what it is you can just say get index and uh, just give me a second and I'm going to run this command. So you can see that uh, pretty much everything in the collection has the ID index and that's something you cannot delete and it always exists but this is our new index that we created with a key value is equal to one so it does have a new uh, index created with value and uh, if we now run the same query and see uh, how well that performs if you run the same query you can see that it is running what is called an index scan which is excellent and you want your uh, it is using the range 87 to 87 which is very good uh, the f best thing is that the total documents examined is only two this time around, which is fantastic. So as you can see, if you add indexes to your uh, collections in MongoDB, you can highly optimize your queries and how fast they run. So let me just show you a few other things here uh, in terms of indexing, a little bit more index in advanced. Um, so I do have a, a document which is uh, normally quite different from the rest of the documents. So I'm going to run a query to find it. Basically, it's a document where I have a field called name and uh, it has a, um, an array for skills as well. So if, we, if I see, yeah, there's only one document for that. So let me just try to create an index on the name because I want to be able to create an index on the name and I want it to be unique. Uh, that way, if I have uh, lots of people uh, we can kind of give it a try so let me just uh, run this query to create an index uh, so it's creating an index on name equal to one and it says it needs to be unique so if i try to run this index uh, you will see there is a problem where it says it cannot run this uh, duplicate key error null and the part of the problem is that uh, since only one document has this name, the other documents uh, that are in the collection don't have this key and uh, there are lots of nulls. So to get around this, I can make it a sparse uh, and let me see if I can create a sparse index. I haven't tried it before, but I'm going to give it a try. So uh, if I give it a sparse index, uh, as you can see, it works pretty much and uh, I can uh, it created a new index for a sparse index. So sparse index is basically useful that if you want to create an index on a particular key and it's unique and uh, there are a lot of documents we don't have then you can just use the sparse index. So that's another thing you can do. Uh, the next thing you want to do is to try to create what is called a multi-key index 
and uh, to do the multi-key index there is no really special thing you need it's pretty much uh, running through the same thing here uh, specifying that array but since this is an array which has uh, different elements uh, this would be called as a multi-key index and uh, to do the searches is pretty straightforward uh, you can uh, do the searches on these things uh, normally and you should be able to see an index then uh, oh, harking so let me uh, just kind of uh, let's see if I just had this query and I wanted to uh, explain it and I can usually give it an argument true so here just this query name is equal to true you can see it ran through an index scan and uh, execution stats it examined only one document and keys examined is one so basically you can create simple indexes you can create multi-key indexes and uh, you can also create sparse indexes and if you want to combine uh, different keys and create an index uh, you can also do that and uh, the simplest example would be let's say if you wanted to create an index which has uh, uh, one more field which is let's say name and I can do that as well so if I'm creating an index which has a value and a name equal to uh, one that's called a composite or a composite index and see you can see it created that index as well and uh, you can do searches on that and you should always run uh, explain on sample data to see if it's really uh, optimizing it and uh, here you go so you can see all my new indexes have all been created there's one other quick thing you can try uh, in a particular query let's say if you had a query uh, let's say just you have this query to run and you wanted to uh, force this query to use a particular index I believe you can uh, run something called hint and you can uh, specify the name of the index you want to run so I think it can be specified as just a name and it's going to run oh it's I guess the syntax for this is a little bit different so just look it up in the manual so I think that's all I wanted to cover for today and uh, here's the manual on the mongodb site where you can look at various commands and stuff and I'll file this video under mongodb indexing on my web uh, site Gore Associates. Thank you for watching this short screencast and uh, you have a great